Get out, go out of my head. Adversity puts iron in your flesh. Unless you're him. And this led to the foundation of a very new innovation. So there are two ways to bring huge changes in this world. So either by having a burning desire or by having a burning discomfort. And practically we had both of them. So ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelt for I would teach, would take you to one of the most innovative and interesting stories of praise against time. It was 1st September 2016, we were sitting in a cafeteria, talking. Make, make it more interesting. Okay. Make it more interesting. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in the deep suburbs, who desired to wish to the heights of mountains, yeah, like that, and the depths of the oceans, who wished to see and listen to the chirping of sparrows in the open air. Yeah. Okay. And also eat, not like him though, laugh and talk to those of her age. She yearns this to her sepoy who was gifted with a golden touch that gives the winning edge. They toy day and night, met critics who knew the price of everything but the value of nothing. No, I and, 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 and. This led to the foundation of one of a kind event. Uh, sorry, can't name it. Thanks to the guidelines, 2017, which resonated again in 2018. I will stop you here. Now, this is the problem with her, and that is why I didn't want her to involve in script writing. No matter whatever she performs, it comes out to be inevitably dramatic. Now, now there is something that we need to learn from her, and that is. It was just because of her that we started participating in each and every activity that was happening in school. Though medicine is quite bad, but yes, we started doing it. As a matter of fact, we started pulling off different social awareness campaigns. And it amounted to be number those three to four social awareness campaigns per year. Be it for the Aid Society, be it for the Quit India Movement, or be it uh, for the uh, Sachita Mission. And then this was marvelous. She did this uh, skit that was against the Dowry Act, much more prevalent in our state. And you would be surprised to know, protocols were broke that night, and Chief Minister awarded her the degree of ambassador against the H. Mehta. And this is the Please, please, autograph button. So practically there were a lot of things that were associated uh, with the event that we were having. It was quite a tough journey and uh, it will not be possible to cover each and every aspect of it. But yes, yes, this is very much related to money. We have fests all around the country but this was not just an ordinary festival. So let's talk about finance. So this is the most important aspect. There are two other aspects associated with finance. The first one is how to accumulate it. I to kharcha or kharcha karna bhi to judiciously. So the second point is learn to spend those judiciously. Now here comes the importance of planning. It is very important to, for all of us to learn the art of planning. Because once you plan, this will help you in the long life that you're gonna have. And whenever you get an idea, learn to plan it, then strategize it, and then you'll see success soaring high in your life. Now the communication with the sponsor. Jo paisa dene wala hai, usse baat karna, aapko bohat achse se aana chahi na. This is also an art, and most of the times you'll fail. You should have clarity of communication. You should have the tendency to do the homework. Whosoever sponsor, whosoever is expected to sponsor an event, and you should also know the likes and dislikes of the particular person. You should also address the doubts because, mind you, even if a small demand is left untouched, that might lead you hefty amounts in lakhs. But remember, don't compromise with your ideologies. You are having a greater vision. You just don't want money back to get associated with you. And last but not the least, learn to give them respect. Now, I'm a huge fan of TV series, you see, both Bollywood and Hollywood. 
is increasing seemingly now. And uh, I get motivated by watching this TV series every now and then. Uh, you must be familiar with this guy. He is an awesome doctor. Now there is one thing really essential about him. He has a plan B already, even if he play, uh, fails to plan it. And that is how the agenda for life is. Remember, you are having the strain of a huge journey and you don't and you just can't afford to fail in those circumstances. Never overcome it. Commitment versus overcommitment is a lost war and you will definitely fail. Team effort. This is a huge organization that we are speaking on and definitely I am sure the organizer would agree that team effort plays a really essential role. Award and reward system fascinates the entire process, motivating your members every now and then. A follow-up of what has been done till now, daily progress and its acknowledgement. Because it is very essential to ensure that not just you but your fellow team members are equally energized as much as you are. It's quite natural to have egos, you know, and uh, we all have it at some point or the other. But you know what a smart person is? He knows how to tackle it. Learn to accept your mistakes, learn to tackle your ego beautifully, especially in this profession. You must admit that most of us at some point or the other have ego. And this ego should come in between your professional life, in between the work you are doing. So it is better to just shove it off. But again, I would say that it's quite natural to have this ego. Now the Indian mother gives the best example of equality and that is how the importance of a person in an organization is. The janitor in an organization is as important as the owner of the organization because if the hierarchy collapses at a subsidized level then definitely that the entire thing would eventually collapse. So, in a society there is an astonishing culture of pointing fingers and poking nose into others' businesses. Surprisingly, we had to convince the society to edit something which was, ironically, for their own goddamn benefit. The idea was never to put in the new and innovative thoughts or action. Rather, it was how to get the old and worn out ones out. Very difficult. journey that we were undertaking and uh, as, he, as she said there are a lot of associated stigmas one thing must be remembered uh, in life from here to the journey you undertake always try to inculcate a habit of developing your skill i remember the time you know, when for uh, the approval of certain demands and approval of administrative guidelines we need we had to interact with senior level bureaucrats and it is very difficult to manage so I still remember and she would agree. What we used to do is uh, do was that we used to open the internet web the website on the internet every day. We used to go to the government website, download memorandums, download gazettes and memos, read it line by line, then copy it with pride, and eventually it was quite glorifying and energetic to see your approvals, your proposals, and your appraisals rising above and above the hierarchy of the Indian Indian, uh, this thing, Indian administrative system and this clearly indicates that once you try hard and once you have this agenda of inculcating skill in your life then definitely you will succeed and not just that it was not just about skill development in administrative per se it was also seen quite efficiently we were able to manage all the things associated with that event be it media management be it uh, having security issues and whatnot. Now there lies this demon right in the heart of the country, right in the heart of millions of people. Maria. Yes, I would like to talk about this demon whose exorcism was the worst. Your name gives me demonic over you demon and I do know your name. You are caste system. You are gender discrimination. The defiler, the martyrs of snakes. In the name of the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I condemn you back to hell. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, what you see on stage, what you see on stage are the two extreme sections of a society, of a secular society, I must say. Striving hard, striving being together, and changing the face of the system. Yes, a Brahmin boy and a Muslim girl can very much turn the tables around. They can exist, coexist in the harmony and, and also in the contemplating world. They can also do wonders. The idea is we should empower each other. We all bleed the same goddamn color. So, Piriti Tabi, kyun? Absolutely. I'm fighting those laws of oppressed thought. I will just conclude my part by saying that what we have learned, each one of us, each one of you, is really special and is an asset to the country. It's okay to think out of the box and ditch our mentality. Dream big. Look beyond the theoretical scope of education. Take baby steps and you can definitely change the system. Surround yourself with hope and positivity. Have the courage to, the, to pronounce the word impossible as possible. Listen to your brain. And most of you would ask why? Because God has given you one. If you don't find the opportunity, create it, make it and break it. Now there are certain facts I, are, I would want to reveal that most of you would say that academics come in between when we actually don't listen to what our heart, which when we actually listen to what our heart has to say. But to be very honest, whenever we used to start taking such initiative, the very first appreciation, word of appreciation would come from the dean of our institution. The proof lies very much on our social networking handles. We were able to claim the ICMR's fellowship. It is the apex research institute body in this country. We also made protocols in our college pertaining to a lot of literature, be it annual report, be it prospectus, be it anything. We just had to think out of the box. And so was the case with the journals and the fellow articles. You know, why working with Vishal was so easy, breezy and comforting? They say, behind every successful man, there is a woman. But I believe that behind every successful and independent woman, there is a man like him. And and an open-minded father who trusted her and not the society. There are people talking about gender inequality and the Me Too movement, but I would like to talk about the brighter part of my life, wherein I was taken, finally taken, as a human being. Yes, you heard it right, like a human being. Aren't you amazed? With this guy, I was always on top of my foot, working day and night, meeting critics and meetings, meetings, meetings. But I was also working on days when I was down and flowing. Hate it for that, truly. And you see now, we have reached a time that this needs a special attention. And she is herself mentioning the fact that I took her support and treated her as human. This is this shouldn't be the case exactly. Why? Because the opposite half, the role of the opposite half is equally important. We stay in a country where we often, you know, ditch, where we often want to suffice the stigma. Even in our event, there were times that we were very much pressurized. It sometimes felt that there was this CEO. We were the CEO and we were trying to save our organization, striving hard enough to just to protect it. But that doesn't allow you to compromise with your moral values. This is to all the women lending me their ears. Be that strong girl that they would know would never back down. Be that fearless girl that dares to do anything and fears not. Be that independent girl. Be that girl who would never back down. Don't take it wrong on this, but uh, by working with Vishal, what I got to and what I realized is that men do understand the adversity and uh, 
difficulties and problems of a woman. And they do want to acknowledge and appreciate it. But what stops them? The societal barrier and the societal upbringing. I believe we should not blame boys in the name of empowering ourselves. We should do it together. To the boys, I want you to tell to you, all of you that only you can make us empower by being together, facing difficulties, and also battling the voices of the people. I would say it now, and I would say it forever. It can only be together. Thank you.